you. Well, we heard last half hour from leaders in the area trying to manage the deepest impact of the storm that, of course, would be right in the city of Buffalo. But right now, we want to focus on another area managing cleanup right now, and that's the town of Tonawanda. This storm was just so different depending on where you were starting on Friday and then carrying through the weekend. But the one constant was that wind and those absolutely impossible driving conditions. To get an assessment of the effects in Tonawanda and an update on the cleanup efforts there, we're joined live over Zoom by Town of Tonawanda Supervisor Joseph Eminger. We so appreciate you taking the time. And before we talk about that cleanup and how that's going tonight, how do you describe the experience of this blizzard in the Tonawandas and what was the most challenging aspect of it? Well, uh, good evening. Uh, well, it's been a, a challenging uh, four or five days, not only for the town of Tonawanda, but everybody uh, in our in our region. And uh, there have been a lot of challenges. You know, one of the things that we learn in government is you got to be flexible. And uh, that's what we started out. You know, we knew the storm was coming, but we also knew that we, you know, we didn't know how much we were going to get. We knew the winds were going to be howling. We didn't know how bad it was going to get. I mean, I was 18 years old when this blizzard of 77 hit. And uh, there aren't a lot of people in town government uh, that remember that storm. Well, I, I, I do remember it. And uh, I knew we had to take the quick, decisive action. And uh, we planned for it. We, uh, our highway crews, our water and sewer crews uh, just did an outstanding, outstanding job. Uh, uh, the blizzard conditions that were around Tonawanda uh, for all day Saturday, uh, uh, late Friday, uh, were, uh, were scary, dangerous, dangerous. And uh, we had six plows get stuck in the drifts on Saturday, six plows. Uh, we had a fire truck get stuck on Saturday. So these were, these were dangerous conditions that we, that we had to deal with. And uh, the coordination of all the department heads uh, constantly on the phone with the county, getting updates with my fellow supervisors throughout Erie County, uh, 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 texting each other, you know, telling each other what we're going through, how they're handling things. Uh, that's one of the great things about the era that we live in now is social media was was good to get the message out to the people. I want to thank the residents of the town of Tonawanda. You know, for the most part, they stayed off the roads, and but they still need to continue to stay off the roads because now we are in the cleanup. Yeah, let's talk about that because the town of Tonawanda did lift its travel ban. There is still a travel advisory in place. What is the status of the roads there tonight? And have you been contacted at all about um, from any police about coming to your border with the city to stop anybody from driving into Buffalo where there is still a ban in place? Well, we uh, our roads overall are in, I think, in pretty good condition. Uh, you know, I mean, we opened up uh, uh, yesterday at 7 a.m. Uh, and uh, our highway crews uh, had been working throughout the blizzard. They worked straight through. They didn't pull off at all, as scary as that sounds. Our highway crews were going 24 seven during the blizzard, during the actual blizzard. And uh, so uh, we, do, uh, we do have a parking ban in place. Uh, we have a parking ban in place uh, uh, at no time. Our vehicle is supposed to be on the street, and that's so that our highway crews can go out and attack uh, the cleanup, We're trying to go curb to curb. And that's where we, the stage that we are in now. We're, we're trying to do curb to curb cleanup uh, as fast as we can. Uh, and uh, that started today, and it's going very well. We hired a private contractor, uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're overall, we're, we're in very good shape. Uh, the, the weather is turning, as uh, I just uh, heard your meteorologist say, and hopefully it'll be a slow uh, turn. We don't want, you know, we don't want flooding uh, and uh, there'll be a slow runoff of the snow. But I would encourage people now, if you uh, have a fire hydrant in front of your home, please dig out the fire hydrant. Could be a life saving uh, uh, thing that you're doing. And also try to clear out the receivers, you know, where the water is going to run because there's going to be runoff now with the, all the snow. We got to make sure those receivers in the, in, the, in the street are clear of snow and that'll help uh, going forward uh, uh, over the next four or five days. We know Erie County leadership is really cracking down as well as city leadership as far as trying to really keep that ban in place in Buffalo and keep people from coming in. Have you been contacted at all by them or by police um, to be on the border to keep people from coming into Buffalo? Well, we've been, uh, I mean, we're, we don't have, you know, we don't have our police personnel at the border you know, of our town and city, you know, stopping people. But we have used uh, social media as well as the regular media to, media to get the word out that 
you know, the city is uh, is in rough shape now. Uh, they are cleaning up too. They're going through their their stage of cleanup now. Uh, but we're we're telling our people, please, do not go sightseeing in the city of Buffalo. Stay off the roads in the city. Don't be tempted to go in there. That's the best thing that we can do as a community. And I'm um, hopeful, uh, like I said, they, they've done a great job, you know, for the most part, staying off the roads. When we asked them in the town of Tonawanda, we asked that, you know, our, our residents, please stay, uh, stay away from the city of Buffalo. Uh, it's not going anywhere. It, you know, we can, we'll be able to get back in the city soon enough and do what we got to do in the city. And let me ask you quickly, with warmer temperatures coming, you sort of mentioned this before, there's going to be that snow that's melting. Tonawanda has plenty of water around it. Um, what are some of your concerns or your message to residents as far as that goes in this next phase of the forecast? Well, the uh, flooding. Flooding is a, is a huge concern. And actually flooding, we had some flood, street flooding during the blizzard. Uh, uh, Friday, uh, my days get mixed up for where we were. Friday and Saturday, we had some uh, street flooding over near our Brighton Golf Course. Uh, and uh, thank God, you know, we, we've spent a lot of money on uh, uh, sewer infrastructure over in that area over the last couple of years. And we're, uh, I believe that the, the water did not get into the people's basements. Uh, so uh, it's, it stayed in the street, which we're hopeful. But, uh, you know, we got creeks, we got the river, uh, you know, uh, the, the wa water can only go so far. If you, if, you have, if you have too much water, there's no place to go, it's going to come up. It's going to come up through the, through the DIs, through the receivers. Uh, and uh, never, never a good thing when that when that happens. Uh, but uh, we're going to start planning for that uh, starting tomorrow, uh, just in case uh, that we do run into those issues uh, over the weekend. Certainly so many things to consider. We've been chatting with Tonawanda Supervisor Joseph Eminger. Thank you so much again for your time. You're welcome. Stay safe. Thank you. You as well. Take care.